All right, today we're taking a look at our 1995 Nissan Homey. This one is a rear wheel drive, turbo, intercooler, diesel. It's the GT Cruise S trim level, so a higher trim level. Um, and this one, we don't usually bring in the rear wheel drive vans, but this one is actually a really clean example and it's definitely kind of worthwhile to bring in. Um, the, the rear wheel drives tend to be more, a little bit better maintained they aren't thrashed off-road or anything so this one was a road warrior um, it's got a nice little carbon fiber lip in the bottom it's got a better stance than most vans in my opinion this one looks really good with these wheels um, some lower profile tires and then a just lower overall height so yeah around 97,000 kilometers on the odometer um, and with the TD27, which is a great diesel engine, uh, this one has timing gears, so no need to worry about a chain or a belt. This one has a dual sunroof, one up front and one giant one in the rear. Nardi steering wheel. And this black color looks really good on these vans. A fairly standard interior for the homey or caravan. Um, these do rotate the second row and then in the back you can see how that third row seat folds up and out of the way against the side and then this is that uh, folded down so it is an eight passenger van. Tinted windows all the way around in the rear. Power curtains those all work. It's got a power like a soft closed side door which is nice. Pretty clean, headliner looks good. Yeah, this thing runs great. I've driven it quite a bit the past couple days and it's been a pleasure. Um, rides really smooth. The caravan is actually, well, names are kind of inter interchangeable. The caravan, the homie, um, these vans are very smooth on the road. I really like the suspension and how it, it's still fairly stiff in the corners, but it's it's really nice riding uh, on the highway, and it's also geared really well for the highway. So these ones you can cruise at 110 kilometers, just fine, no problem. Um, at a pretty low RPM, like just under 2,500. So yeah, this is a great option for uh, just kind of travel on the U.S. highways if you're not looking to go too far off road then it's a good little van for a camper or just a daily driver. It's a really unique one. So you can find more information on our website, jdmcarandmotorcycle.com. Thank you for watching.